Hey, what's going on guys? John here and today Apple just released iOS 14.7 to the public and you guys can go ahead and download this if you guys want to. But for me, you guys can tell that most of my videos are just downplaying iOS 14.7 a little bit just because iOS 15 is so close to releasing. We should be expecting iOS 15 to beta 4 anytime now. So it just makes iOS 14.7 a little bit irrelevant, but that doesn't mean it's not important. This does fix up quite a bit of bugs that were going on with this update. So anyways, just a quick look at this. We have iOS 14.7 seven coming in at roughly 800 megabytes and it says that it includes a magsafe a battery pack shared credit limits for apple card family and other improvements so for the first bit of it here we are not going to be getting it with the iphone 6s so if you guys have the 6s and you are expecting the magsafe to be working with it you guys are completely going to be disappointed because it doesn't even work with any devices other than the iphone 12 even the iphone 11 isn't going to be compatible with the magsafe battery so you guys are going to be really disappointed if you were looking at this and expecting it to be working now in terms of the shared credit card limit that would be available for the iphone 6s as well you guys can can hop on into the wallet and set everything up there it's really interesting you guys can set a limit on one device and it would affect the rest of the devices now all in all I have been using this for a couple hours now and I haven't really noticed anything drastic uh, things load up just as quick as it did before and things that do need a little bit more time loaded just as slow as it did so like I said guys did not really much with this update It's more of a security bug fix but when iOS 15 does drop for the iPhone 6s that's gonna be the major change that's where we're really gonna see if the iPhone 6s is capable of running that firmware but as of now I think you guys are good to go with iOS 14.7 in terms of just having it running on your device uh, you guys aren't gonna notice any slowdown there might be improvements overall I'm not really sure but uh, just take it with a grain of salt right now my iPhone 6s here does have a degraded battery that needs replacing so you will see the percentage drop quite a bit this isn't noticeable on my iPhone 7 so don't worry too much about what you're seeing on the screen here now just before we end it here one final thing that I've noticed so far running it for the last hour is the fact that 3d touch got a lot quicker than it used to now it isn't 3d touch anymore because if you turn the toggle off 3d touch no longer works even if turning it on it still behaves the exact same way however you're gonna see things load up a lot quicker now now it won't put any pressure on the screen and you will see this pop up a lot quicker than it did before if you guys just count the delay in milliseconds you see how quickly it pops up um, I think there is an improvement on this and Apple Apple's really working on making haptic touch behave the same way as 3D touch was. So yeah, I'm not completely sure here if that is really the case or not. But one thing I am sure of is that uh, the side button 3D touch is still working. So if you guys are on an app or any other screen, tap onto the left side of the screen, hard press in and you'll get the multitasker like that. So anyways, guys, that should pretty much wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button, that bell notification. And once again, peace out.